Hello and welcome to another episode of GoTo Tech Reviews. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Fantex Eclipse P400 case. All right, so before we uh, dive right in and start looking at some of the uh, the goodies inside this box, uh, this is actually uh, part of a build that I'm going to be doing for my father. Uh, he wanted just a mid-tower, uh, simple skylight system. Again, I'm going to be going with the uh, Intel Core i3-6100. Uh, he's not really going to be doing any sort of games or anything. Uh, he just wants basic computing. And uh, he wanted a case that looked nice and uh, wanted good airflow. Just, uh, yeah, without any further ado, let's just jump right in and see what we got. All right, so uh, one thing I noticed with the packaging here was the magnet that's supposed to be taped onto this mesh here was was kind of hanging off and holding on to the plastic there, but it was easy enough to reapply. There it goes, just right up here. So yeah, uh, so let's just go over uh, some of the few basic features. Uh, so the dimensions are, so it's 21 centimeters by 46.5 centimeters by 47 centimeters. Uh, and in Imperial units, it's 8.3 inches by 18.3 inches and 18.5 inches. Uh, so this is a mid-tower case. Uh, so it'll fit your standard ATX uh, as well as micro ATX and mini ITX. Um, it can fit some extended e, uh, EATX, uh, but it's up to 272 millimeters wide and cannot use the rubber grommets. So it will cover the rubber grommets, but EATX is actually supported. Um, so your front I.O., which you've got right here on the top. I'll just uh, put it down here like that. Uh, so what you got there on the top is you've got two USB 3.0s, a mic and headphone jack, a reset, uh, button and LED control. Uh, so yeah, this case has a LED and it comes out uh, the bottom here um, So as far as uh, So yeah, let's go on to the back here uh, So you'll see there are seven expansion slots uh, for PCIe um, The rear fan mount is I believe 120 millimeters. Yep, so 100 so 120 millimeter fan uh, can fit here uh, and you can slide it up and down uh, so that's nice uh, this is a feature that I like on my uh, uh, Enthu Lux case uh, so uh, I've noticed that there's a lot of uh, design language kind of borrowed from that uh, so a uh, standard ATX PSU um, which you have down there at the bottom uh, and so as far as cooling so in the front you can fit, let's go ahead and take the front panel off. It comes off real easily. Um, and in here, is that metal? No way. Yeah, the the front's metal. That's, that's awesome. Um, so the little LED uh, lighting, well, it's actually up here on the case, but it shines through here. Um, there's actually a little filter here at the bottom uh, because the air intake comes through the bottom here and also through the top. So there's a filter on top and on bottom. That's pretty nifty. Um, so yeah, we'll just set this up to the side for now. So it comes pre-installed with a 120 millimeter fan up front. Uh, the front can support up to 320 millimeter fans or uh, 240 millimeter fans. Um, as far as radiators go, you can fit a 360 uh, millimeter rad up front um, and you can also fit, well not and, or you could also fit a 280 millimeter uh, radiator up front. Uh, you could also do uh, 120 millimeter radiator in the back here as well. Um, as far, let's uh, take the... Uh, these screws off. Uh, I will point out that these are retention uh, type screws, which is nice. That's something I wish the Enthu Lux had. Uh, that might be different now with the tempered glass. Um, and this is a windowed case. 
Uh, most of them are these days. Uh, so yeah, let's take a look at the inside here. And while we're taking a quick look, we're gonna take off this other um, side panel as well. If I knew what I was doing. Apparently, oh, there we go. So the top can support uh, 220 millimeter fans or 240 millimeter fans. So uh, one thing I wanted to mention early uh, from earlier is that in order to support a 360 millimeter radiator, uh, you have to remove uh, this basement here, which can be removed. Uh, so just keep that in mind. There are some trade-offs. Um, now the top does not support uh, radiators. Um, and it's kind of easy to see why. There, there's not a whole lot of clearance there. It's kind of hard to tell from this video, but you'd be really hard pressed to fit a radiator up there, I think. Especially when you can uh, fit a 280 millimeter radiator up front. Uh, I don't know. So uh, there are some limitations there, so do keep that in mind. And according to their spec sheet, uh, there isn't uh, they don't support, they specifically do not support uh, liquid cooling up here on the top. Um, in terms of clearance, uh, so for a graphics card you can fit just about anything in there. Uh, so there's 15.2 inches or uh, 395 millimeters or 280 millimeters. Um, if you have the uh, optional hard, uh, uh, hard drive brackets, so you can uh, buy more hard drive brackets uh, to fit up in there. So if you have that, uh, which comes optional, uh, you would only be able to support up to an 11 inch graphics card or 280 millimeters. Uh, so cable management in the back, there's plenty of room. Uh, I really uh, am coming to appreciate this more and more. So this is 25 millimeters, uh, the whole space back here. Uh, not just one particular indent, the, the whole thing. So uh, every millimeter counts when you're trying to do uh, cable management. Uh, speaking of cable management, uh, it comes with its own uh, cable management already done uh, for the uh, front um, I.O. as well as the LEDs. So speaking of LEDs, uh, this actually uses a proprietary uh, Fantex um, LED extension. I've got some up in my case upstairs, but they're currently in use. They do sell a standard four pin to uh, their Fantex proprietary. Uh, but anyways, you could uh, use one of their one millimeter or two millimeter. I recommend the one millimeter. Uh, you can watch the video here on the problems I have with the two millimeter. Plus the one millimeter has the magnet mounts, which are excellent and very much worthwhile. So yeah. Uh, cable management already done here in the back. You've got two SSD brackets and you also have uh, two HDD brackets and you've got a lot of room down here in the basement for uh, your your PSU. Okay so and you'll also notice that there are rubber grommets uh, on this side here and this side here. Uh, now remember if you are going to be using EATX uh, this will be covered up. Uh, so the, those cable management options will not be there. And you'll see here that you can also get optional um, hard drive bays, as I mentioned earlier. Oh, I, I also forgot to mention here that it comes with a 120 millimeter fan uh, installed in the back. So there's one in the front and one in the back. Other than that, I mean, it's a pretty straightforward case. It, it's a great value. I believe it retails anywhere from 75 to 85 uh, US dollars. Uh, great value mid tower. Uh, very well, very well built. I like all the features that it comes with, uh, without really cutting too many corners. So if you like this video, give it a like. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Uh, you can also support through Patreon or through one of the Amazon affiliate links uh, below. Um, you could also buy this case. Uh, that would also help support the channel as well. Yeah, we'll catch you next week. Thanks for watching.